Good morning everyone. It is Monday morning, the 8th of March. And we're going to come together this morning and read um, from John's Gospel again, from John 6, verse 60, through to John 7, verse 9, for our Lent readings. So let's read God's Word together. Many of his disciples said, this is very hard to understand. How can anyone accept it? Jesus was aware that his disciples were complaining. So he said to them, does this offend you? Then what will you think if you see the Son of Man ascend to heaven again? The Spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing. And the very words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But some of you do not believe me. For Jesus knew from the beginning the ones which didn't believe and he knew who would betray him. Then he said, that is why I said that people cannot come to me unless the Father gives them to me. At this point, many of his disciples turned away and deserted him. Then, 12 turned, then Jesus turned to the twelve and asked, Are you also going to leave? Simon Peter replied, Lord, to whom would we go? You have the words that give eternal life. We believe and we know that you are the Holy One of God. Then Jesus said, I choose the twelve of you. But one is a devil. He was speaking of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, one of the twelve who would later betray him. After this, Jesus travelled around Galilee. He wanted to stay out of the region of Judea, where the Jewish leaders were plotting his death. But soon it was time for the Jewish festival of shelters. And Jesus' brothers said to him, Leave here and go to Judea, where your followers can see your miracles. You can't become famous if you hide like this. If you can do such wonderful things, show yourself to the world. For even his brothers didn't believe in him. Jesus replied, now is not the right time for me to go, but you can go any time. The world can't hate you, but it does hate me because I accuse it of doing evil. You go on, I'm not going to this festival because my time has not yet come. After these things, Jesus remained in Galilee. Amen. Sometimes we forget about that short bit at the end of John 6, whenever disciples left Jesus. Um, we only ever think of people following Jesus. We don't think of the fact that people disagreed with him and walked away. But that's what happened. Um, it's interesting because Jesus very quickly calls out human nature. People want things to their own chin. They want things that they can um, bend or manipulate or they can agree with on their own terms. And we don't like it whenever we are challenged about our thinking, our belief, our behaviour. And that's what Jesus was doing as he started out his ministry. He was challenging the people in what they were doing and why they were doing it and how they were doing it. Even his own brothers at the start of chapter 7. Um, you can't become famous if you hide like this. They thought it was all about fame and reputation. They didn't realise that it was actually about what Jesus was called to do. That he was God's son called to come to this earth to bring salvation. And even they fail to recognise the same. It's just, it just really does sum up human nature, doesn't it? How we go into things with our own agenda. And even the whole way through it, we still have our own agenda. Rather than coming in as a blank slate, so to speak, and letting God speak to us, to teach us and guide us and direct us, we always have you know, that hidden agenda in everything that we do. This is about learning about how God just wants to really just put us to reset, if you want to put it that way. Wipe us clean and start again. And that's what salvation is all about. Wiping out the sin and us starting again to learn how to follow Christ, to learn how to grow in him, to learn what plan he has for us so that we can follow him and, and, and live a fulfilled life. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be difficult. It's not all going to be highs. There's going to be lots of lows. There's going to be lots of rough times. And again, as we're, doing, as we're learning on a Sunday, there's the wilderness times, walking in the desert whenever it is lonely. But it's all about learning and about coming back to God um, and just focusing on him. So at the start of a new week, 
um, whenever we've had the rain overnight to, to wash away the, the, the air and clean the air, let's think of that for ourselves as we think about our salvation, that it's God wiping us clean, that we are a blank slate that he can start with. And let's set aside our own ambitions as such, or our, our own preconceived ideas, our own agenda, and let's see what God wants to do. Let's see where God wants to take us and lead us. You know, really with, with lockdown and everything that's been happening, we've, we've got that opportunity as well, haven't we? Of a fresh start. So let's see what God wants to do. Let's be excited about it. Let's be enthusiastic about it. Let's want to be involved. Let's want to, to, to be very much in the midst of what he's doing and see where he'll take us and how he will use us. Let's pause and let's pray this morning. Father, thank you again for another day, another week. We thank you for the weekend that has gone by. Thank you for a time of relaxation and refreshment. We think of a time around your word yesterday, uh, a time of learning and challenge and encouragement. Lord, just for this week that lies ahead of us, please help us to, to be a clean slate for you, to set aside our own thoughts and desires, our own agendas, and see where you take us. See what marvellous things you show us this week. And Lord, may we be so enthusiastic to be involved in what you want to do. So Lord, thank you. And continue with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks folks for joining in. Take care. God bless. See you again tomorrow morning at half nine. Bye for now.